you're not in a race. That's right. We just take your time. Anytime you, this is a good fish. Bring your rod back around. Keep your rod to the right. Yeah. There you go. Hey guys, Woody here with Trophy Seekers Outdoors. We're glad you joined us today. Today, me and Daryl got Tristan with us. We're getting ready for the Catfishing for Kids tournament. You never know what's going to happen when you're out on the water. So come along with us and let's see what happens. We're teaching Tristan how to free line with chicken. We're going to move the boat up here and get set and see how he does. Tristan just turned 10 a few weeks ago. His personal best is a 23 pound blue cat. We're looking forward to spending some time with him. All right, we're here. Let's get some bait in the water and get on some fish. Woody, you ready? There. All right, guys, we're gonna let it turn sideways first. We're gonna cast them out for him once we get turned sideways and then put them in a holder and anything it hits, it's on him to catch them. All right, throw them out, Woody. The Cat Fishing for Kids tournament is October 29th and 30th. It will be from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. All right, throw that now. You can go to Muskrat Adventures YouTube page and watch it live. Uh, in the tournament, uh, it's legal for him to uh, take and just reel the rods in. But it will hit the thumbs up. If you had never been uh, subscribed, hit that subscribe button there. All we're doing is going sideways down the river. As you can see, we're going past these uh, little tie-ups for the barges, and I'm keeping the boat sideways. And we got the net on the back of the boat back there in case uh, <coughs> we catch it. I'm gonna actually turn this camera just a little bit this way. Yeah, I turned it some. I didn't know how much more we needed. Yeah. Guys, we're doing two, oh, a little over two mile an hour down the river. That'll tell you how fast this river current is right here where we're at. I've actually got to pull out, just pull over just a little bit, Woody, or we're going to hit that pontoon back yonder, yeah. or that tile back there. All right, I'll watch the reels here. Yeah, we should be okay. We're good. We're good. All right, come here. Oh, this is like, see this right here? You don't want to get down past your boat, okay? So if it gets down past the boat, let me know. Yeah. Because what it do is you get in the motor and stuff. And this one right here on the front, you don't want it to get in the front and get in the trolling yeah. motor. So you got to keep eye on them, okay? 14.5. 14 14.4. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Uh -huh. We just uh, actually got skipjack hitting over here on the right side. What we're going to do is drift down through here for about a half mile, and then we'll turn back around and uh, do it again. You're seeing Woody taking a hill reel in. We, we, Drifted just a little bit tight. We still are, Woody. Yeah, that's coming over that way. Yeah, I'm gonna pull us off. We have to stay off these tie-ups, or I'll be hitting something again with the boat. I'm pretty it's good at happen, it. Ain't it. I'm pretty good at it. We missed the last one. This is the place. This spot right here is a good place to pick one up at. That's why I like to get close to these uh, tie-offs here. So we we do pretty good here. So I say it's a it's hit or miss. I wanted to start out up here at the just up here at the dam to start off with, just to see what we could do. We'll go back up and drift the middle, and then we'll drift the uh, right side of the river. And if we don't do any good, we'll uh, we'll reel in and start over again. I say this is Tristan's first time, so he's learning. I actually think that might have been. A little bottom. I think that was rock. Yeah. But that's how he learns. Uh, you're hung on bottom. No, that's a fish. Come here, son. Oh, fish on, guys. Fish on. We thought he was hung on bottom. We've already got a fish on. All right. Come over this way. Uh, you might want to get the uh, net ready. 
I told you this third pile on here, tie off, is a good spot. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up this way now. I got that other rod out your way. Come over to your right. Hands. There you go. Take time. Good job, good job. We're not in a race. That's right. We just take your time. Anytime you, this is a good fish. Bring your rod back around. Keep your rod to the right. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Keep your rod tip up. That's where you hold it. Good job. Pick your rod tip up a little bit. There you go. Guys, this is a pretty nice fish. He's in the net. In the net. A little blue. A little blue. Can you imagine if you catch a 25, 30 pounder? Fish in the net, guys. Fish in the net. Nice fish. A pretty tough one. For a little, for, for a decent little one. Yeah. That, that, that little fish about whooped him. That's how fun it is on just light, very light fish to tackle for uh, for catfishing. That's standard tackle if you're catching a eight pound bass, which is a good fight for one of these, but they're really good for catching what we're catching here. We've caught some as big as 25 pounds before. All right, guys, right about here is where things took a turn. What's wrong, Woody? It, it, who's winning, uh, you or the fish? Don't lie now. No, uh, give me a uh, knife. A knife? Uh-oh, did he swallow it that deep? No. Knife's right there he on just, the cutting board. He just set me. I got a hook in my finger. Oh, what's what's a knife gonna help you? I gotta cut the line first. Okay, let me put it. Uh, Hang on, guys. I gotta. <laughs> Okay. Don't move. Do me a favor. I got some spotlight. Guys, he's got a hook in his hand, so just hold on. I want you to go up and sit back up that way. I went to put him in and he uh, swung. I went and cut the wire. Just cut the wire. Okay. I need a pair of pliers. Ooh, he did. Actually, let's cut the hook. I want yeah, to cut the hook. The head off. We're going to cut the hook. Pliers weren't getting the job done. No, you're good, brother. And Dr. Morris is going to find another tool. <laughs> oh, come on. Just right. Hey, you want to see it real quick? Look at there. Hang on just a sec. Guys, he's got a hook through his hand. What it done? Uh, I was fixing to put the thing in. I had the back of his neck and he shook. Yeah. And so he, it just went right in my hand. He's just gonna pass out, guys, but he's good. At least it's just through the outer yeah. skin, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like it was just a freak thing, dude, but it happens. My dad okay. just got hooked. All right, he's got a better. Them two all several hooks are tough. Listen to that thing pop when he cuts it. All right, there we go. And just like that, it's through, and we've got band aids on here. Ooh. And that's the reason you always got to be careful. Yeah. That's why I like. I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. I told you right there was a good spot to catch one, didn't I? Right. If you want to get out and fish, just let my dad do what That's he That's the biggest to do. fish we caught on the boat yet, guys. It's the first one. Everybody see it all right? Um, Does anybody want to see it all right? Um, go. Tristan was upset for you. Oh, uh, it's all right, buddy. Oh, he don't care. Hang on. I just, it was stuck in my finger and I stuck it on through because I knew we could cut the head off. <clears throat> There's what I'm hunting. Don't run our day fishing, Woody. Oh, don't worry. We'll take you back to the boat dock. I got two hands. But we hope that won't happen again today. Well, it probably won't. That's the first time we've had it happen on this boat. Yeah. But there's always a first time. 
it's your fault. On this boat? We appreciate you coming and hanging out with us today. We're going to try to hit reset and start this over since this was the first fish of the day. Do us a favor, hit like, share, and subscribe, please. And if you can, hit that little notification bell and it'll let you know when we've got a video coming out. Thank you and God bless.